Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess In the last episode we got ourselves the little statue that smells like butthole So we can restore Ilya's memory So let's go show her that statue and let's see what happens I'm sure I'm bound, I'm sure some fun things will happen once we do so Now come here you silly farm girl What, what is this? I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes. And I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And that person set me free. They gave me this statue. Yes. Yes, I remember that much. But that means this person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. Ooh, I remember. I thought it had seen that before. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. And they worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in it, the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to Lanayru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a... But a but a rock slide has blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Their patriarch is going to help us. All patriarch Darbis will, will, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map and see where it, to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden, that leads to Lanayru Province. Whatevs. So we're gonna cut. Okay, we are essentially here. I think we're close enough. So let's move forward. Maybe the cut was pointless. For some reason I thought it was gonna take longer, that's why. I just ignore the dudes there, they're no threat. There is a heart piece over here if you want to try to gun for it. Die, die, die. Thank you. You need to die too. Nothing like a little stabby stabby. Here buddy, you want some stab? Here, have some stab, there you go. He likes getting a sword shoved in his face. It feels good, I swear. Nine out of ten of those dudes agree that it's good to get stabbed in the face. The tenth one is dead. Anyways, that's that. It's open. I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene for all that shit. Oh, there it is. Anyways, let me, uh, get this on and throw this here. Nice, there's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. This scent that has been burning my nostrils it is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no, at most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all that if that is all there are little human then you alone are more than enough for them but you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor before you go I will tell you a secret to besting them destroy them all before they spot you yeah. got it little human excuse me not sure if you guys heard that but I burped a little Anyways, yeah, this is where that little sniper scope would come in handy. But if you do get spot by them, you get some cool music. Oh, what the hell was that? Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I can see a little shit. Oh, nice. Double kill. I don't think we can reach him over this little hill.
Never mind, the music starts when you just get close. Oh, you heard the guy. There are 20 of them, and thankfully it will keep track for us, and that's where the Benefact is located. I fucking love this track. It's also in Brawl. It was one of my favorite tracks to fight, too, when I was playing as Link. Ah, good times. Here, you want a good time, sir? There you go. Have a good time. Hey, you guys can't see it. Like, how the fuck does Steel Seal this? see this? Cause he's, mo he's moving his neck forward. He's doing the classic CSGO... CSGO meme. And it's working. Hi, buddy. You're dead. Aww. It must have felt good. Whatever. Anything in here? No. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's get the high ground, Luke. Let's get the high ground, young Skywalker. Okay, we've been busted. Bitch, my arrows are tougher than your fire arrows because that makes total sense. Can we jump across? Yes, we can. That's why I'm breaking shit. I'm a destructive little hero. Hi, buddy. Die. Aw. He likes it. Yeah, look at that stuff. Boom. You, sir, have met a terrible fate. He likes terrible fates. Anyways, yeah, there's the statue, but don't hit it yet. Because if you do, it'll reset this whole entire spiel. Wait till they're all dead. Yeah, nice aim there, buddy. See, I was, try I was a gentleman. I tried to let him attack. He said no. Hello there, Mr. Explosive Barrel. Okay, let's shoot that barrel up there. Boom. You're done, son. Here. Bam. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I had to shoot twice. Did that hurt me when he fell on me? I didn't quite catch it, if it did or not. I said it's trouble. And it's ugly trouble. I keep hearing the lock-on sound like I'm locking onto this dude. But then I lose my lock-on for some reason. There we go. I may be damaged, but you're dead. There you go. Alrighty, there's one left. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there he is. Bitch. And that's that. The howls of the beast, they have faded into silence. Yes. Wait, are you? The savior, savior, it's you, the savior. Please forgive me for not opening the door. It was locked and I forgot where I put the key. Anyways, my name is Impaz. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the Great One who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Steel? Exactly. I knew it. So then... You saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her escape from here. By royal order, I cannot leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me blather on. I have a flavor to ask you. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. But even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. 
And with that, we get Ilya's charm. This key is to get. This is the key to getting her memory back. I believe in my heart that it is kept to be safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that little girl. She's my main squeeze, don't you know? Alrighty. Let's go use that wolf's wolpy statue now. That wolpy and... That, I was gonna make a legion joke, but I can't remember the fucking dude's name. Whatever. Come on, sweetness. No, I don't want to do that. Even though she's nowhere in sight. Alright, let's... Leave and come right back, I guess. What is that sound? Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna cut and meet you back at the statue. This will just take a second. Alrighty, there we're back. That saves maybe a minute of time. Right, this is a big one, boys. Let's see if we can get it. I'm about to hear it one more time. Alright. I almost had it. Let's see what I messed up. Oh, I forgot that. There we go. Still almost got it. But then he got it the second time when he realized he missed one little fucking note. Hey, this is a, a unique song to this game. This isn't from any other Zelda. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. So Ilya can hold her fucking horses. She can hold her GW fans. Cause there he is, the final fucking wolf dude. Can we warp or is it gonna be a no-no? All right, we can warp. So let's go to Castletown, boys. Let's go talk to the wolf one last time and learn something special. <coughs> Alright, Minda, may I please be a human again? Alrighty, let's do it. Can't go in there exactly as a do as a wolfy, sadly. The humans won't like it. And I'll just freak him out. We already had to do it once, and that was due to circumstances. But those circumstances are over. Yeah, unlike Ocarina of Time, you can come in here at night. Which is a nice little change. Hello, Mr. Heart Piece Guy. We're not going to get your heart piece today. We're almost to the new dungeon, by the way. There's only one last task to do after all this shit. And it's one, thankfully, I can kind of speed through with the uh, magic of video editing. So, let's go this way. This isn't somewhere we're coming to. Not for a little bit.
So let's learn that final skill. And it's probably my favorite in the game. The thing, you saved the best for last. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill which can be earned only by the one true hero? I do. Very well. Then before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now come at me, bro. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My final hidden skill is the great spin. Let it be hewn into your mind. You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of a true hero. You now have the... You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that power is when your life energy is brimming full. Now try unleashing this spin attack on me. The spin attack is fucking powerful, but you need full health. And it's range? Well, let's let it speak for itself. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the Great Spin, has been passed on. You learn the final hidden skill, the Great Spin. With full life energy, unleash a spin attack for even more damage. You have at least, at last, mastered all of the hidden skills. Although I accepted my life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You have marched through the countless foes, each mightier than the last. You, who now gaze into the future with vision unclouded. Surely, you can restore Hyrule to its, its stature of yore as the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go, and do not falter, my child. So what's that twist? Well, that was it right there. That that is your father. The guy from Ocarina of Time. From Majora's Mask. That's right, so that would technically be me. Ah, shit. Me Inception. It's over, boys. You know, I could have just transformed right there and headed back to Kakariko. Instead of running back through town. So let's do that. That was Transform into Wolf. I love seeing you too, Midna. But we need to warp right now. We have business that needs concluding. And away here we go. Should have said that when we just started teleporting. And away we go! Whatever. And here we are. Hey, baby. Alrighty, let's go talk to Ilya one last time. I had the hook shot because you can use it there in the hidden village, and it makes traversing up to the second floor a little easier and quicker. Whatever, we completed that place, like, with zero issues. <laughs> and that concludes the memory quest. I knew you won't. Yes, this feels so familiar, the scent of hay. Long ago, when we were young, you and I. You were always there. You were always beside me. It's 
stale. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please still take it. Shit, I thought it was for me, not GW fan, you horse fucker. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. I'm sorry. It's a nice cutscene. Oh, wait one sec. Still, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they got it something for the heavenly messenger. For generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you say. Say, still, do you have any idea who, who this messenger to the heavens might be, or even what the rod is? It's the red rod we got. Anyways, that is a nice cutscene, don't get me wrong, but they try to play it up as if she's supposed to be your love interest or something, and I'm sorry, no. Anyways, I'll meet you guys at the Hidden Village next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tweelit Princess. And we'll finally make our way towards that sky fucking dungeon. It's probably the best one, well, the best regular dungeon in the game.